Hi, it's Joy and Shane going to be watching Clone Wars Season 2, Episode 5, Landing at Port Rain. Um, no idea what this episode is going to be about. Um, if it's going to be a continuation to do with the last one, although I feel like the last one was fairly rounded off. So yeah, let's go. Um, a reminder before we do that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon, along with all my reactions, and you get this two weeks in advance, and the edited version one week in advance. Sorry I say that every time. Let's go. Resistance from the native Genotians was stronger than we anticipated. Same can be said mm. for their loyalty to Count Dooku. Uh-huh. Hey, so go. They really should have seen the warning signs that anytime they do anything, he's like, but, but maybe not because that could win. Good. You could win. Sure, this is gonna go swimmingly. If we meet Cody, grab the gun chips. I'll meet you in the hangar. Yes, sir. We've got this. I mean, I, it's gonna go terribly wrong, I'm sure, but we've got this in the long run. I wasn't involved in the first assault on Geonosis. Well, you didn't miss much. Last time I was chained to a pole and attacked by hmm. several humongous monsters. That sounds entertaining. <laughs> or the Genosians. Hmm. No such thing as luck. <laughs> I mean, there, there really is. L luck is very much quantifiable. Like, you can't really guarantee it, but luck is a thing. That was really horrible! I mean, Anakin was on board, this was going to crash. <laughs> I mean, these people are just defending their home planet. I know they're helping build droid animal, droid army, sorry, the droid factory, and they're in the separatists, but. I mean, did you ever consider that the landing zone could have people there? Especially once you landed in it. Oh, God. This is going so well as I thought it would. I think you also got shot down. Hey, I'm worried about him too. Mm -hmm. Keep your mind in the here and now. Chaos. Oh god. Why do we always get the fun missions? <laughs> Oh, lovely. They've just been sitting in there with their dead friends. I'm thinking this wasn't the best planned mission, as it has gone epically wrong. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, the one that they specifically spotted. Christ. The same guy that doesn't think luck exists. I wouldn't trust him that much. No, I would. I'm sorry. Oh goodness. Oh god, they've got to be confident to do this. <laughs> I mean, I think Anakin and Ahsoka are proving that luck definitely does exist if none of these shots hit them. No. Oh. And luck has to be combined with talent and skill, but you know. He said, you know, the wall's that way. <laughs> and a friend. Well, thank you, friends. Can you leave your holes open so we can uh, plant some explosives in them? Thank you very much. Slight detail that put us out of communications for a bit. This has been a day for detail. 
just like, oh, what a casual stroll in the park. Only lost a few hundred. <laughs> See, look, does exist. I don't know why I'm so offended by that Jedi saying it didn't exist. It was just a stupid thing to say. Good, finally. Ready to make his last stand. Well, what happened to you? I might ask you the same yeah. Good. So many dead. So master, what was your total? Come on, children. Um, sorry. <laughs> My total. Sixty-five. <laughs> so what do I win? <laughs> My everlasting respect. That is a gift Anakin rarely bestows. Very <laughs> true. <laughs> Anakin's like, should I be offended by that? Okay, the real battle continues in the next one, I'm guessing. Okay, so the main thing I need to figure out here is how the bad guys, the other side, knew their plan so well. I mean, I doubt it's as simple as the Chancellor told them. <laughs> so what happened there? How was their every move planned and known in advance? Because that was costly. Yes, they managed to succeed. Yes, you know, at the end of the day, Anakin and Ahsoka and Obi-Wan can have their glib responses while the clones are sobbing as they've lost their brothers around them. I mean, it can be a bit dramatic. And I know to survive the harshness of war, you have to kind of have that kind of attitude. You can't, like, properly mourn every second especially in the middle of a situation but still um I was like kind of jarring like watching clones die left right and center and then Anakin and Ahsoka are like oh how did you get of the droids um it was hard a lot of clones died and um, I don't know I feel like today I've really struggled to just kind of put that out of my mind um and even the the bugs that were dying weren't droids, they weren't like Roger Roger, they they were people fighting to defend their home and their set of beliefs, whatever you think about that. I mean, yes, I don't agree with having a droid factory on your planet that's going to send droids out to go and kill people across the galaxy, so I understand, I agree with the Republic here for coming to fight, but I, I think if it was as simple as not wanting to be in the Republic, I don't think there should be a war, but that's not the point of this. Um, I think this was another good episode to show the way they think under pressure, to show the way that Anakin and Ahsoka were able to work together as a team, how much their clone troopers trust them. Um, it's amazing in a way how much faith they put into them, like, to the extent that, like, if Ahsoka, I mean, I know we have seen them doubt Ahsoka at times, but if they are skilled, they have a lot of luck. I'm still bitter about that luck comment. He's an idiot. I'm glad he's alive, but he's an idiot. Um, seeing the resourcefulness, the different paths they took, and the desperation of battle and how they have to keep fighting through it and how much the clones work as a brilliant unit and are willing to die for this cause, even though that's all they've ever known and they were created. I'm, I've been in, got into the ethics of that in the past. So this was a good episode. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. I'm stressed about the one to come because we lost so many characters. I mean, I, I didn't know them personally, but the clones were dying left, right and centre in the last one and we're only in the middle of this particular fight. Goodness me. Reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon, along with all my reactions, two weeks in advance, and the edited version one week in advance. And thank you so, so much for watching.